For a new challenge, I'm going to assemble an army of prisoners in Bannerlord. The main rule of this challenge is that I'm not allowed to recruit any soldiers from towns. I'm allowed to recruit only enemies that I defeat in battle. This largely means that my army in the early game will be composed of looters, forest bandits, and mountain men. Looters, the main source of manpower in my army, can't be upgraded until reaching the disciplinarian perk through the leadership tree. So we'll be using a lot of Zerg swarm tactics, just with copious amounts of manpower, until we level up our main commander. I'll also have to fight the first few battles entirely on my own until I recruit a decent number of criminals. My main commander will be named after Captain Jack. Sparrow, born under the sign of the fish. Very large fish. Make it more piratey. This is the tale of Captain Jack riding across the fields on his horse. Now the first thing we'll need to do is just fight a bunch of looters to slowly convert them to our cause. We need to make friends by endlessly kiting them across the battlefield. We'll just need to pick them off with arrows one at a time. We have 27 in our quiver and assuming we kill each one with about three, that should be just right uh, for friendship to befriend them. All right, get the hell away from them before they pelt me with rocks. And thus, by continuously just kiting them, we should be able to- Ooh, right in the face. Captain Jack pulls no punches. Oh, fuck, no. Come on, wanna go for headshots as much as possible. Non-lethal headshots. And hopefully by taking on groups as large as this one, we'll be able to have a few wounded. Ooh. How did that not hurt you more? It's definitely gonna be a grind here at the start, but I'll zoom through it for you guys. One, two, be friends later. Three, four, five, six, six, and we're done. He got hit only in the hand and the chest, so hopefully he will be a friend later on. I mean, whoops, the neck. Huzzah! Smashing! Oh no, we killed seven out of eight. Well, at least one of them is a friend, and we gained all the more renown and morale for being outnumbered. We'll just take the looter, and we'll take all of their shit. More looters running away, let's take smaller groups on. It turns out it was Bob Ross. Shit, a group of eight joined in too, so now we're fighting twelve. I still think I can take them out with two arrows each, because I'm fairly accurate. One. We're running out of arrows. One. All right, some of them are fleeing. That was somewhat lucky. And the rest of them are just running away. Let's see if we can non-lethally kill them. Non-lethal kills. Pyo, pyo. Fear me. Victory. Nay, Winnie. And again, only one wounded, but that's two people for us. And we got 2.3 renown, which is actually quite a lot. We'll just sell everything in this town, and we'll start to buy a variety of food so that eventually when people do join us, we have something to keep them happy. More looters. But this time it's only three. Versus me and my horse, of course. One, two... Let's hit this guy with a mace. Oh, damn. Oh, yes. Poop, poop, poop. Stop hitting me. Victory. And I accidentally killed all three of them. This is starting to take a while, let's just speed through this process. And apparently I'm wounded now too, so I'm very, very sl- I am also encumbered. Now this icon down here in the lower left means that some of my prisoners are ready to be recruited. However, I don't want to recruit them until I have enough prisoners that I can out vastly outnumber the enemy, otherwise we'll just be pretty much treading water until we have an army. So let's wait for a little while until we can find more prisoners that I can take out on my own, and then we'll use swarm tactics to kill our enemies. Now we're gonna be at a long range all the time, so we'll start buying up the, uh, the bow tree, and we'll also start to increase our skill in leadership, because that's gonna be seriously important. We'll also boost experience for weak troops, because we're gonna have a lot of them. We'll get spare arrows, so that we have more arrows to kill people with. And we'll boost up our social stat, because we need to get the disciplinarian perk as soon as possible. When we eventually do recruit prisoners, this is gonna be really important, um, for some reason. If we want to upgrade our prisoners, it's it's necessary. Also, just accept this quest from Rahagia. Hi, Rahag. She has some bullshit she needs to say to us. And we'll listen. Now, in the meantime, rebuilding our clan shouldn't be so difficult since I'll be outnumbered in every battle. And this process is definitely a little bit grindy, so I'm just gonna zoom through it until we have a decent number of men. And then we can start to use swarm tactics to defeat lesser opponents. We just need to find a lot of really weak looters. Here's a group of four, led by Bob Ross also. Engaging a horseman in an open field. Not smart. Two, I'm not even sure I need to kite these ones anymore. I'll just keep on going around them. Three, four, and- oh good, that one was in the chest. 
Maybe he's alive! Be my friends! One of them survived! Ooh, there's another group. Only six looters, we could take them. We'll just continuously kite them again. Try to make our shots as non-lethal as possible. One, two, three... Who missed. Four. Your mom's a whore! And we accidentally killed all of them. Oh, bother! And another one. But no one beats old Captain Jack. Just something so satisfying about the sound of an arrow sinking into a chest. I don't mean to sound morbid. And we gained a level. Let's use more of these non-lethal headshots to convince Bob Ross to join me. One, two, fuck, three, four right in the throat. Yay. Smashing. And I accidentally killed them all again. But we got more renown and morale. And fortunately, since we don't have an army to pay, we're making a lot more money than we would. Hmm, a group of three forest bandits. I may actually be able to fight these guys. And having one of them on our team would be kind of OP. They tend to be much stronger, but they're also much more difficult to subdue. They're pretty accurate from long range. Yep. But we gotta be careful and make sure we just keep on going around them. Yeah, they tend to miss a lot if you're moving at a fast speeds. So we just gotta keep circling and hope that some of our arrows hit them. Nope, not so far. There we go. If we do manage to recruit one of these guys, we'll be in luck though. Another, another, another. Crap, we're running out of arrows. Oh, we got one. If only my horse could turn properly. Two. And only one guy left. Should be able to get him now. One, two. I hope one of them stays alive. Three. Done. Be my- Whoa, friend. Thanks for taking all those arrows, Mr. Horse. And with only one arrow to spare. One of them survived. Yes, we have a freebooter on our team now. Whatever that means. Okay, this guy should be really good. We should- We should see if we sh can- eh. We should see if we can recruit more of these guys. Ooh, and he has bows too. We can use all this. That was actually a fantastic fight. And more looters. I don't think we can fight eight, but maybe if we see another group of three. More looters. <laughs> Look at his bottom lip. And we actually have double the arrow capacity now. So we should be able to kite for an even longer period of time, making this even more of a one-sided battle. Let's just make them think that they'll be able to hit us in melee combat. Occasionally one may get to throw a rock at me. And we'll just continue using the circling technique so that they're forever chasing me. I love exploiting the AI. I love exploiting the system. It's making me pretty dizzy. But you're not getting away. Don't leave me. Don't leave me with him. Uh, one guy. And zero guys. They all died again. My god, this strategy is much harder to employ than I realized because everyone dies all the time. Our character is gonna be so OP by the time he gets a force of like 10 guys. It's practically still just gonna be me against everyone. Let's try nine. What could possibly go wrong here? And we'll just employ the same technique that's been working so outstandingly well against everyone. I'm going for more non-lethal parts of their- maybe for some reason leg shots will not kill them. Though I also just suspect that it's blood loss related to, uh, you know, shooting them with a bow. The secret is in making them think that they'll be able to hit me with a melee attack. Don't- no, don't leave! Much better. And done. One of them survived. My god, we're gonna have a clan before we even have any people. And it looks like we have better arrows for sale here. So we'll grab those, and we'll also buy a longbow from these people. But this seems like enough for right now, and I'm actually looking kind of badass. And we'll fight another Bob Ross clone. For some reason, I can't equip my longbow. I think I don't have the right level for it yet. One, two, three, four, five. Yay! More. These guys are actually smart, and they're throwing rocks at me instead of just chasing me around. I think they're- they're on to my plan. I might not be able to use this so much longer. One, two, three. Oh, we're really low now. How did these guys get so smart? Only one left though. Oh, oh, why is it red there? That is, that must be the edge. And we are safe. Two wounded, nice. Oh, very worth, very worth. Two more prisoners, and we have almost enough for a small army now. All right, let's see if we can use this as an opportunity to fight these looters. They're being chased by a knight. Okay, and we will join in on the fun. Great, so we can use other people to our advantage. Maybe we'll even get some prisoners. I do nothing, I'm just gonna get off my horse. 
And we can actually use the longbow in this fight. My god, this thing has fantastic range, but I don't think I'll be able to use it. Oh, whoops, I... friendly fire. Let's just let it happen. We'll just let it happen. Thank god for other people. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like we get to take any prisoners after that fight, nor do we get any of the loot. I think I'm gonna sell the longbow as well. It's just not as good as I imagined it would be. We need shorter bows while we're on horseback. I'll take a simple javelin. Uh, actually, that's far too expensive. I'll just leave then. Ooh, some mountain bandits. Only three mountain bandits. I'm sure we could fight them. Probably strong enough there. And fight me. These guys look tougher than the normal looters. Mountain men for our team. Hopefully they don't have ranged weapons though. And I hope one of them survives. Yep, these guys are definitely tougher than the average looter. Looters are just in that type of life by circumstance, but mountain men seem to have chosen this lifestyle of shirtlessness. Thar she blows. Huzzah, mountain men. And one of them survived to join us. A hill man, yes. <laughs> oh, that looks like fun. A real mountain man. And they gave us beer as well. And make faster aim. One, two, three. That's it. God damn it. Ah, yes, two prisoners. We're finally at capacity 10. Now we have all the prisoners that we can possibly hold, and we're finally ready to convert our army. All right, let's go in and recruit everyone. Five looters, one freebooter, and one hillman. Oh, we need to wait a little bit longer on him. But soon we will win over the hillman to our team. We'll want to continue to stick to small groups of looters because we don't want to get overwhelmed and have our party members die. At least until we get into slightly higher numbers. Okay, a group of five should be fine. We could always separate them too. And I take on half and my team takes on the other half. All right, our first fight with an actual team now. Let's do this one for science. And I'll just separate off half of them to the other. Come on, half of you for- No, shit, that didn't work. Half of them are supposed to fight me. Whatever, we still slaughtered them anyway. And we have one bowman doing a lot of work. No one died and we got a recruit. Another defenseless looter squadron. Attack! And hopefully we'll win this one no contest. Also, I'm just gonna need to pelt them with arrows before they get to our people though. Same idea, just more help we're getting now though. No, don't hit him in the head with that sickle. Gotta be make sure we don't do any friendly fire here. And we did lose a guy, but there are three of them wounded, and we're ready to recruit the hillman. Cheap labor is perfect. It's perfect. Now, I'd love to upgrade these guys, but we can't upgrade them to Imperial Infantrymen until we get the disciplinarian perk. And to do that, we need to just have a large party with us. So for right now, we're doing the best that we can but we're gonna need to get all the way to the end of this skill tree before we can start upgrading people. So we're stuck with a really, really weak army, like a copious number of men, but very weak men for a while. We can also raise their morale and buy a lot of different foods. Let's get them some wine, some meat, grapes would be good, fish, and some grain. This should boost party morale and make everyone completely happy. All right, let's try taking on this group of 11 looters. I'm up for a challenge. All right, everyone charge mindlessly. It looks like the helmet is there too. But I want many of them to fight me instead because I want to make this a, an unfair fight. So five of you could just come over here and fight me instead. Four or five of you. Looters versus looters. There we go. And, oh, this one does not look like it was as one-sided as I wanted it to be. And we lost a good number of guys, but we got a lot of their wounded, too. And we can also carry more prisoners now, as well. Now, I suppose that the next thing we should look for is an actual companion to get some buffs and bonuses to our party. Now, the fun part is that we can already start upgrading the hillmen to brigands, because we don't actually need the disciplinarian perk for that. So we'll do that, and we'll be able to do the same thing with the fort with the freebooter to make him a champion eventually. So I don't know, maybe we should just go back to the forest people and then use them as recruits, because they seem to be more willing to go down a wild path. Or we could just menacingly bully all of these looters a little bit longer. Everyone, you know the drill. And we got them. No deaths. Let's just fight more defenseless looters a little bit longer. Charge! And we'll just split them all off. Good. Focus on me. Focus on me. Don't fight my people. There we go. Okay, great. Their distraction with the horse has cost them their lives. Wow, you look really good, Mountain Man. More prisoners, more renown, more gold. Now, although this strategy started out weak, it's definitely starting to snowball. I'd like to see if we can find any more of those Mountain Men. Just to overwhelm people without massive numbers. And there, another small fish. I won't hurt you. 
I won't hurt you. I'll only wound you. Let's go again. If you hit my horse, just don't hurt them. And one, two, and three. Easy. 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 Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. More. I think I figured it out. You just run your horse into them and get yourself killed while your men are fighting one guy they outnumber. And then your guys fight the rest of their team. Yep, this is gonna work. This is definitely working. Thank you. And let's visit the tavern. And there's nobody in here. Oh, Oros the boar is upstairs. Ah, the boar, my man. Long time no see. You look far more creepy than I'd imagined. How's it going, Oros? All right, we're gonna see if we can recruit him as a companion. He's only $371. Oros the boar on our team now forever. New team member. Let's leave. And this horse is exclaiming. More progress on the quests. We've got a lot done on these quests now, having talked to three nobles. And our clan is also being rebuilt. We hired a companion, we have more renown, our party size is growing, and now we just need money. And that shouldn't be too hard. Let's go bother more looters. And we'll upgrade our freebooter to a forest bandit. Now we just need to keep on preying on the weak. Come back here, come back. Good, good, good. Catch him, catch him, into the snow at the river. This will probably be our last battle for a while. After this, it's just a matter of getting a lot of gold. And surprise, we won by a lot. Our forest bandit's actually looking quite badass now. Though our brigand is probably not getting enough fighting it, but he has spears to hurl. One. I suppose I could actually sacrifice myself in battle since I just recover miraculously after each one of these fights. Just as long as I preserve the lives of my men until they realize that there's just a growing tide uh, about to consume them. Yeah, that is one-sided. Only one guy wounded. Glory for the fish! This whole strategy is turning out to be much more massively expensive than I had first uh, wagered it would be. Regardless, we're now maintaining a much larger party size. And we have a number of prisoners in reserve, so we're actually over the max capacity, or we're ready to go- We're ready to go back to the max capacity and then recruit people from whoever's dead. So I'm thinking that it's just about time to start fighting a lot of mountain men and forest bandits, so that we can upgrade our troops and get stronger people, and then pretty soon we'll have like a small elite army of bandits. Alright, here we go, men. I actually have a decent army now. Well, not really an army, but a small ragtag bunch that's preferably not all gonna get killed. Good, you fight them while we outnumber them. And this group, if only we could separate this group a little bit more. It's the Bob Ross battle. The battle Ross Al. <laughs> I think we'll finish off with some sort of arena match if we can. If we could win a tournament, that would be a great way to end. Oh, more forest bandits! Yes, come on! Three of them! That's perfect! That's exactly what we need. No, this is my battle, not yours. Not yours, good. Good. More forest bandits for me! Please stop running away! Good. These men will be our saviors. Yeah, charge in, why not? I, I do fear these guys, because they are far stronger than other enemies, but... Regardless, I'm sure we'll be fine. And if I could just distract them with me... One, follow the light. Follow the pretty moving horse. There we go. One, two, and three. And... Nobody died. Ah, crap. We lost ever. Everyone died. Let's see if we can enter a tournament so that we can get some decent... Ooh, mountain bandits. Six of them. Six mountain bandits. Mine. Mine. I guess they... They must live near mountains, that would make sense. But just fight these two groups of six separately. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. More mountain men for us. Come on, baby. Come on. Join me. And we'll go in after them. Hopefully we won't all die. I think I could take about three of these guys. Three of them. Oh, that guy looks particularly powerful. We want to get- Ooh. Well- Ah, uh, fuck. Didn't expect that. Well, we'll still win. Just because we outnumber them, and usually numbers is the biggest factor in this. And... Why are we running from him? Why are we running from him? There's only one guy left. Come on. There we go. As long as it was only looters that were killed, we'll be fine. And yes, we got three hillmen now. Well, one plus the two, and we get the forest bandits. So we're starting to turn into a bandit army. We're getting the disciplinarian perk. We're working our way up there. It'll be a while, but our army's seriously upgraded from what it started as. And if we get a war horse, we can upgrade this guy to a highwayman. And since life is a quest for blood, power, and glory, we'll join the tournament. Bet all of our money on me. Okay, I'm an archer. Great. The odds are actually in my favor. Please stop hurling spears at my people. Great, great, great. 
Oh no, don't stab them either. Here are the spear hurl. Ooh, ooh, it's del- I'm delicate, I'm delicate. Oh, the fight is over for me, but not for my team. Let's see if we at least get second place. Come on, just get this guy. All we gotta do is get him. Just him or the other guy. Oh, there we go. Okay, it looks like we might get first- no. First or second, please, first or second. That's all we need. Yes, we made it to the next round. Who cares who wins now? We still just made it. No, he's the other way. There you go. Okay, stab him. Good. And we won! Because of this peasant. All right, I've got a one-on-one -on -one in this next match. Uh, I don't like these because I have no armor and my sword is ass. But we're actually dealing some decent damage to this guy. Victory. Screech! All right, it looks like I'm going to have to fight- or oh, wait, isn't he my own man? Oros the boar is on my team. All right, you're gonna have to lose one for this, Oros. Fortunately, he is without armor because I made him that way. No, I didn't want to do this to you, Oros. That's actually amazing. Okay, now I need to fight a well-armored gentleman named Joron. Oh no, you look powerful. Only six hit- Ah, oh, shit. There's no way I'm gonna win this if he has this much armor. How did you even- All right, well. We didn't win the tournament because we have no armor, but it was certainly fun, and I got to have a grudge match with Oros the Boar, my favorite, uh, my favorite source of comedic relief. So let's, um, we have a party member who can be upgraded, I, I understand. No, I have no idea what- okay. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, we'll try to continue our army by, uh, recruiting more forest men next time. And potentially mountain men, too, who can actually be upgraded well before we have the disciplinarian perk. Other than that, we'll just try to gain money somehow, either by arbitrage or some other way. And, uh, eventually become more powerful. We certainly look more badass than we did before, though. So, thanks for watching. Uh, my name's Ambiguous Amphibian. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye